There have been so many outstanding women in the area, and we have one more we want to tell you about. Despite Women's History Month ending yesterday, meet Cameron University's first woman who is named a full professor at the university and still teaching today. 7 News anchor Haley Wilson tells us about Dr. Elizabeth Nally. This is my motto for life. I will go where there is no path and I will leave a trail for others to follow. Dr. Elizabeth Nally signed a contract to teach at Cameron University without ever going to Lawton. It was as they were transitioning to a four-year program. So we, I moved here to Cameron in August of uh, 1969 and here I am 55 years later still here. She says she never left because things have always just worked out for her and she loves it here. After coming to the university, she went and got her PhD. The school she went to was over 100 miles away in Texas. So Cameron let her do her research here. And he built a vacuum rack where I could do my distillation and the students even helped me. So I was able to do my research here and then do my coursework down there. So to make a long story short, which all my stories are long, uh, I only had to leave here a year and a half from Cameron. I took a year and a half sabbatical to finish my PhD. I don't think I would have gotten that kind of support probably from any other university. So coming here, and when people ask me, why did you stay? I said, because I think it was the right place for me. I think this is what God intended me to do with my life. Dr. Nally says she's seen so many doors open for her over the years, including becoming the president of the American Chemical Society. Dr. Nally knew going to teach at a small university would have some limits on her career, but knew she could still make a difference. The city of Lawton came to me and they said, Ann, we need help. Can you help us uh, uh, analyze this concrete? And I, I did all kinds of things like that. I reached out immediately to the community thinking, okay, I'm not going to be rich and famous as a, a researcher, but I can help my community. It wasn't just the community. She also impacted the thousands and thousands of students she taught over the years. I try to teach them not only what's in the textbook, but how they can reach out to the community as well. And I, I, I think I'm, I'm pretty good at it because I have lots of examples. Her goals of helping didn't stop where she lived. And I even had the opportunity to change it for Japan. I went over there and the women weren't allowed to teach in the Japanese universities and they said, Anne, can you help us? And I wrote a proposal for them to the Japanese government. The Japanese government accepted it and uh, they hired women and that's why I go and do these gender equity conferences for people in other countries. Even after all these years of teaching, she's not ready to put the test tubes down just yet. My sister keeps asking me, why don't you retire and enjoy life? And I said, well, I do enjoy life. I enjoy what I do. I, I, I could not have had, I think, a better life than I've had. Dr. Nally says she's seen many of her former students go on to have really, really successful careers. It's, it's to me, the most satisfying profession you could possibly have because I feel like I never really had, I don't have children of my own, but I have thousands of them out there who, who have been successful. Reporting for 7 News, I'm Haley Wilson.